Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Center for Spiritual Living Morristown on this last Sunday of the year. It's like we just had our first Sunday. This whole year we have, some of you have this journal that you were given on the first Sunday of the year with the theme that was value-based spiritual living. And this month it's all about integrity and next week we start a whole new theme for the whole year and it's going to be called 100 Years of Science of Mind because the teaching began 100 years ago. Isn't that magical? So we're going to dive even deeper. So welcome all of you, especially those of you who are here for the first time. How blessed you are to find this on the last day of the year. Because this is a spiritual community that may be small, but it's mighty. And much healing and transformation happens here. And we create an environment where there's lots of opportunities for you to have that experience because it can only happen from the inside out. So today is a special Sunday because we're doing what we call the burning bowl ceremony. So make sure that you have received a piece of flash paper. And uh, if we're not 100 people, there will be extras. <laughs> Don't write on them yet because we're going to make you think before you write something down. And you should also have a purple card. Theo, who's assisting me today, is holding one up. We're going to do something with that. So today is a, an experience. And we're really blessed to have Kim Kalesti back with us today. Let's give her a warm hand. She wrote some special music for us today, and she has a little choir over here. So that's one intention we have for the year is a choir. So if anybody would like to be part of a choir, let us know. And somebody who's incredibly abundant dropped a $20 bill on the stairs. So if that's your bill, uh, come and get it. And if it's not your bill, we'll just throw it in the offertory a little bit later. I'll keep it, give it in safe, safekeeping for to Theo. I uh, found it on the stairs. So let's do an opening treatment, which is our word for affirmative prayer. As we close our eyes and we draw our attention from the outer world, we easily and effortlessly let go of any distractions, knowing that they're always in the mind because it's our mental perception that turns life into stories. So today we let go of any story except the one that says, you and I are individualized expressions of the one. And that gives us purpose. This purpose is to express our spirit, our soul, our higher self, our true self, in the way that only each of us can as individualized expressions of the one. And this space represents a space where you and I are completely supported in blossoming and thriving because we discover that drama, conflict, and burdens, and disease are not really part of our essential nature. They're just avenues through which we get to learn expand our consciousness, heal and grow. So today we trust that there is this opportunity to leave behind what no longer serves us so that we can step into who are you, we are really here to be. And we open to the support that's already available, which is infinite. So we are blessed, blessed to be part of this community, blessed to be part of this Sunday celebration, blessed to be part of this moment in history. Because our intention is always to be conscious, to be consciously participating as an instrument of love, peace, and wisdom, and to be the on the receiving end of universal grace that is always assisting us. So how could we not be grateful? With full acceptance of this word, each of us in our own way say together, and so it is. Yes. 
So, today is a really good day to think about what it is that you want to let go of. What is it that you would like to leave in 2017? What is it that you don't want to take with you? Or maybe take with you in the same way? Because certain things, we seem to not really have a choice. You know, I have silver hair, I could dye it if I wanted to, but I get to take this with me into my next year, right? It's a silly example, but I think we all have that voice inside that says, yeah, but what about this? Or what about that person? Or what about that? So then the invitation is to bring it with us into the new year in a different way so that we have a different experience and therefore make a different contribution. Rosie was telling me about a friend who was so negative about the political situation in this country and that was so angry and I said to her in the bathroom where we have our best conversations that then, you're, then you contribute to the problem. Then you contribute to the problem. If you're pissed and angry and disturbed and, and critical and frustrated, then you get to transform that so you get to be part of the story that becomes a benefit to the world rather than a burden. So it's just by a small, as I call it, a kaleidoscopic shift. Just looking at it slightly differently. And so that's the invitation so that each of us can make room for what it is that we desire. What it is that we want. What it is that we want to experience. Or at minimal, make room to be of service in a greater way. So, the little piece of flax, uh, flash paper that you've received, we're going to write on there, not yet. Those of you that are writing on it, throw it away, because you're not sure yet. So, those of you that received a piece of flash paper, don't write on it yet, and just think for a moment, let's reflect. Because the question I'm going to have you ask is, do I really want to let go of this? Do I really, am I really ready to let go of this? Am I sure? As Thich Nhat Hanh says, check it again. So I want you to think about that because once you've written it down and you've burnt it, you can't talk about it anymore in the same way. You can't complain about it anymore. You don't get to blame anyone anymore. Are you ready for that? Maybe not, so don't write it down. If you have a miserable ex and you can't stop talking about him or her and you write that down after today, you don't get to talk about that ex in the same way anymore. Are you ready or you wanna keep on talking about it? Then don't write it down. Make sure you tell one person, especially the one that you complain to the most, to hold you accountable. Because the whole idea is for you to create space so that something new can be birthed. And it cannot be birthed unless you let go of the opposite. So you don't get to blame, complain. What are the other things that we do besides blaming and complaining? Obsess, worry, ruminate, ruminate wine, 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 fear. fear. Judge. Judge. You get it. I don't have to tell you. You know, I stand up here talking to you, but you already know it, right? We just all need reminders, including myself. And so that's why resolutions don't work. Resolutions don't work because people don't really reflect. They don't think it through. They don't check and see if they're sure. So people say, well, I want to lose 10 pounds, and tomorrow you eat an entire Entenmann's cake. <laughs> so you're not sure because if you're really sure and you're committed you won't even want it see what I mean there's a different experience when we're really sure so it requires deeper reflection and deeper commitment and then backing it up with prayer support meditation whatever your spiritual practices are 
So we get to think about what we want to know more of. So the other thing that I invite people to do is that instead of talking about it in the same way, in a critical, judgmental, fear-based, angry, frustrating, on and on and on and on way, is to look at it from the perspective of, there's a gift in here for me. There's a blessing in disguise. There's an opportunity for me to grow and heal. There is a treasure that is revealing my best self yet to be. So the invitation then is if we really can't let it go, then we have to look at it in a different way. We have to love and bless that ex. We have to love and bless that disease or that financial problem. Just embrace it and realize that it's much bigger than you are. It is an opportunity for your soul to expand and express in a different way and experience life from a different perspective. That's why we do classes. That's why we do prayer. That's why we do spiritual practices so that we can grow in consciousness. And one of three things can happen, will happen. One of three things will guaranteed or your money back <laughs> I have twenty dollars lying around <laughs> right guarantee or your money back three one of three things will happen it can be one two or three or all three so one thing two things or all three I want all three myself I'm greedy in this way the first thing is you will accept what is you'll just accept what is this is what's happening. This is my experience. I'll accept it with grace. I shall trust it. You will let it go more easily. It's all right. It's just part of my experience. I'm going to just let it go. Three is you'll forgive yourself and or other or others. Guaranteed acceptance which is an amazing freedom once you accept yourself as you are accept the situation as it is if you can't change it accept someone else as they are there's an incredible freedom you begin to see their soul sparkle and everything has soul not just people and when it comes to release you know what happens when you release a burden ah, I feel so much better and you know what happens when you forgive when you forgive yourself, another, or others, there is a divine flow that happens through you that presents you with life in a greater and a gift, more gifted way. So I want to close with a little poem by Mary Oliver, one of our favorites, many of us here. To live in this world, you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal, to hold it against your bones, knowing your own life depends on it. And when the time comes to let it go, to let it go.